And I built it out the national anthem. And and that moment, and, and look, I've had, you know, I've got three kids and I've been married. I'm married, I've seen the birth of my three children. But when you stand arm in arm with your mates and built out the national anthem, that's the best moment in your life. It's nothing better. Because you're, you're representing your country. And, and for me, it's, it's still an emotional thing for me to talk about because it came from years and years and years of hard work. And that's what it takes to get there. It's not easy, right? Anyone who tells you it's easy, it's bullshitting to you. It's really tough to do it. And you get so many setbacks, so many things in your life that'll impact you, right? And it could be not just stuff to do with rugby, it's not just injury, it's stuff that go, goes on in your home life, it's stuff that goes on off the field, it's trouble you get in with the cops, or it's things that happen, it's all that stuff. And, and I've had all of that as well. The best captain I ever had was Martin Johnson, who, he was at the Leicester Tigers when I was there. And, and to give you a sense of Jono, Jono was a guy who played, and f, you know, you guys remember Martin Johnson, big second row, right? Played for, a bit like Eelsey, but just ugly and playing for England. He was a key, he went to, he went to, he went to um, university for a bit, New Zealand, so played New Zealand under 21s, then went back and ended up captaining the Lions, Captain in England, he was coach of England at the last World Cup in New Zealand, Martin Johnson. Leicester Tigers played 300 games, club games for the Tigers, stalwart. And England would play test matches, and this was John Allen. When you played Premiership in the UK, on that weekend that there was a home England game, Six Nations game, uh, the domestic, you wouldn't play, you'd have a bye, that, everyone would have a weekend off, right? So home, Home test at Twickenham, Six Nations. There was no club rugby that weekend to allow everyone to go or to watch it. John O would play the test, he's captain of England. And at Leicester, what Leicester used to do, you know, because there was no rugby on that weekend, you used to get, you used to train both days of the weekend, right? You'd get, you'd get flogged. We get absolutely flogged at training, no games. The strength and conditioning staff think, wow, we've really got to give these guys a touch up so that you get a touch up Saturday and Sunday, really. You do a simulation on Saturday and then Sunday it'll be a real top up, hard session in the morning. 8.30 in the morning, we're on the rowers, you know, just doing nasty stuff for an hour and a half. And, because um, we'd often get a little part of the week off in the week leading into that game, they'd give us Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off. You come in Saturday, Sunday, and start training for the next weekend. Um, John would play a test match, Twickenham, 2.30 kickoff. Twickenham's three hours from Leicester by car. John would play the test, finish up five o'clock, do all the media stuff, go to the dinner, do what he had to do. He'd then leave, leave London, leave the hotel there. Most of the guys would do whatever they're gonna do in London right after a test. John, I'd jump in the car, 11, 11.30 at night, drive back to Leicester. Used to like to drive quick, John, I had an Audi A6 and used to like to hammer it up the motorway. But he'd um, come back, he'd get in at about two in the morning. Eight o'clock the next morning after a test match, he'd be on the rowers with the tight five at Leicester with his teammates because that was his mentality after a test match. He considered that to be his recovery. Flog himself for an hour and a half the next day. Captain of England. It's hard to not respect that, isn't it? You know what I mean? And, and he'd turn up because his heart and soul was at his club and was about, you know, and, and his country. But he'd play his ass off, play against Wales, jump in the car, come home, flog himself eight o'clock the next morning. So that's, I mean, that, you talk about leadership, that's someone who really does lead by example.